A Chicago family trying to get some answers about their relative who went missing more than four years ago. Just last week, Kenosha officials say skeletal remains found this year are that man. CBS 58's Jacob Kittlestad spoke with the family and has the latest on the investigation. After meeting with authorities, family members, about 40 of them in total, came to this spot where their relative's skeletal remains were found. Now they know where he ended up, but they still don't know why. Nieces, nephews, brothers, sisters, sons and daughters, all of them step into the snowy ditch of the frontage road. So this is the spot right here, though. Where Hayes Jackson says a surveyor found his brother's body. This ain't no spot that he'll be in right now. He would never came here. Someone had to bring him here. Jose Jackson, nicknamed Jay, was last heard from on February 25th, 2012. It was a birthday phone call, and with 13 brothers and sisters, he made them frequently. Even with a family that big, since they've been kids, they've been close. We used to sleep in the same bed together because it was so many of us, and I used to smell his feet, and he used to smell my feet. And you know what I'm saying? So that's how I raised up with him. And me and him used to always sing this song every time we, like, talk to each other. Everywhere I go, I can see your face smiling back at me. And then he used to say, da-da-da-da-da, da-da-da-da-da. I knew, I knew my brother would leave us like that. In April, Kenosha police found the body, but there's not much else to go on. Lord, we just thank you that we all come together as, as one looking for Jose. Family says that Jose didn't drive and didn't know anyone in Kenosha. They did say that police told them there's a gay bar near where the body was found, and the family wants people to know Jose was gay and may have known someone in the community. That's part of their public plea for information. He a good person. He was too good to be put away like this, though. But they'll find out who did it. Sooner or later, they'll find out. The family says that the cause of death has not yet been determined by police. Funeral plans will be made after an autopsy has been completed. Reporting from Kenosha, Jacob Kittlestad, CBS 58 News. A woman was found shot.